going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today I've got another NU match using the same team as I was in the previous video and this is against my boy Raymond from Twitter. So it's looking like we're pretty evenly matched from the team preview here. I am worried about the Frostlass, he's also got the uh, the Shuckle which could be always annoying along with some stuff like the Hitmonlee. That thing's got a chance to sweep depending on what kind of set it is and then he's got just you know some overall threats like the, uh, like the Houndoom along with the Chinchino. So let's go ahead and just get right into the battle here. Alright, so as per usual, I'm just going to lead off with my Yuxi. I assume he's probably going to want to lead off with his Frost last, but I toss this thing out here anyway, just to see if I can get some rocks up. So, I send out Meeksy, as he does end up leading off with his Frost last. And this thing is either just going to start setting up some uh, some spikes, or he's going to taunt me. I decide to just try to go for the Stealth Rock anyway, but he taunts me, and you know, that, that pisses off Yuxi, and he wants to fight, so he doesn't, he doesn't want to set up Stealth Rock now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and U-turn out of here, as this thing is going to get a chance to set up a layer of spikes. Unfortunately, on this team, I don't actually have any hazard removal, so I'm going to have to deal with that. I also know that he has the Shuckle for potential um, sticky web support, so that kind of sucks, but I'm going to have to work around that as I go for the U-turn, and this allows me to switch right into my Mustard Ghost, so it's a ghost battle he wants, you know, it's a, it's a ghost battle he's going to get, so uh, I bring this thing in, and I decide rather than trying to set up, I'm just going to go right for a Shadow Ball, as he is going to go ahead and throw another layer of spikes out there, so that's really kind of stacking up. And uh, we got some Legos on my side of the field that I don't really feel like stepping on. But I go for the Shadow Ball. Um, if he did have the Focus Sash, the U-Turn broke it, which is nice. And I do end up getting a critical hit, which I don't think mattered. So that's cool. That thing is, uh, that thing's gone. Don't have to deal with that Frost Last anymore. And now he's going to bring in old Spring Legs, the Hitmonlee. And I know that after running some damage calcs, I can take at least one knockoff from this thing and live it with 10%. But he decides to go for the Blaze Kick. I'm assuming he maybe predicted the switch into Whimsicott. Um, either way, it would have been a two-hit KO, uh, the knockoff would have been about the same anyway, but uh, after some leftover recovery, it's looking like I can take another one, but I'm going to decide to just switch right into my Yuxi, who I know can take pretty much any attack from this thing. Uh, I am bold max defense and max HP, so the Blaze Kick is not going to do a whole lot, and at this point, I'm actually expecting this thing to be a, uh, a Choice Scarf set, so that's, I kind of keep that in the old back pocket, but I know that he has the Houndoom on his team, I don't want to go just right for the Psychic, so I'm actually just going to take this opportunity to set up some Stealth Rock as uh, he brings in the Houndoom there, trying to trying to uh, absorb a Psychic, but I don't really want to stay in against this thing, I know that I can take at least one Dark Pulse um, before he sets up a Nasty Plot, so I'm just going to go ahead and U-turn out of here as he is going to think some Nasty Thoughts and get that special attack boosted, but I do still have a Assault Vested Hariyam on my team, who's absolutely thick as hell and can, can pretty much handle this thing, so um, the U-turn is going to get a nice amount of damage there, and this allows me to bring right in my Hariyama. Luckily, he only has one Nasty Plot up, so I should be able to take a Fire Blast, um, especially because I do actually have the Thick Fat ability. So, he turns out to actually have a Z Crystal, and for a second I was scared, I was like, please don't be the Fire one, please don't be the Fire one, but luckily, it is going to be um, the Dark EM Z, which is going to be the Black Hole Eclipse. So, that's actually perfect, even with the plus two from the Nasty Plot. Um, Assault Vest Hariyama has no trouble taking that. I ate way too many Krabby Patties, it went straight to my thighs, and you know, I can, uh, I can live that easily. So I live that with 85 HP, this allows me to fire off an Earthquake in return, and that is going to be a dead doggy. Sorry about that Houndoom, but I'm really glad that I had this Hariyama on my team. That thing could have definitely been a problem had I not had this thing. So. Uh, that's a dead hound doing pretty large threat out of the way, so things are looking good. As now he's going to bring in the Shuckle, and uh, Asshole Noodle Rock comes in. As I, I don't really have any reason to switch out here. I, you know, I'm in on a fighting type, so I might as well just close combat. This Hariyama is max attack and max HP, so I can hit pretty damn hard. And it's looking like I might be able to get a high roll and knock this thing out with another one. As he takes this opportunity to just set up some Sticky Web. And that's really not too big of a deal at this point. Um, honestly, I'm not too worried about the Sticky Web. My team's kind of slow overall anyway, and the mods that need to be fast don't actually touch the ground. So I go for one more close combat that actually ends up knocking this thing out and luckily I had the stealth rock up because that makes it a nice and easy 2 hit KO so that is perfect. And now he brings in the Hitmonlee, he's gonna get hurt by a little bit of rocks, not really too big of a deal as I do actually have bullet punch on this thing so I'm gonna go ahead and go for that. Shoot him with the old bullet fist right in the face and that is gonna knock that thing out which is really helpful because that thing you know, was a large threat so don't have to worry about that thing anymore as well and now he's gonna bring in the adorable Chinchino so um, I'm just going to stay in here and go for a bullet punch before I die. I don't really have many switches into this thing that uh, I feel comfortable going for, so I get a little bit of chip damage with the bullet punch, and then he actually ends up missing a tail slap, which is extremely annoying, and that really kind of sucks for him, because this allows me to get one more bullet punch off before I go down, and he finally connects on the next one. It only takes one hit to knock down Hariyama, but... Uh, Harry Arms did definitely, he definitely did his job, so I'm, I'm stoked about that, as now I'm able to bring in Yuxi pretty much for free. Um, 
I can take uh, I can take a sl tail slap nicely. I didn't want to switch into this thing directly um, when I was in on Hariyama because I didn't think I would be able to take two. So now that I have a free matchup, it's perfect because he's only able to hit me with one, and this allows me to fire off a psychic, which is gonna take care of uh, take care of that thing, which is nice. So uh, over here eating some leftovers, having a nice little picnic on the battlefield. I'm at about half HP, and it's looking like. Um, I should be alright at this point, as his last Pokemon is going to be this Vaporeon. So my plan at this point is to just go right for a Memento, lower this thing's special attack two stages, and then this thing should not be too difficult to take care of, um, because, you know, at this point his main thing he can really do is just kind of go for a Toxic, and then uh, and then just stall out. But I do still have um, a Choice Specs Whimsicott on my team, so I go down, I Kamikaze myself with that there Memento, and uh, this thing's over here eating some leftovers at full HP, but not too big of a deal, because... I got my boy 100% cotton out here, ready to 100% uh, fuck some bitches up. So, at this point, all I've really got to do is just lock myself into Giga Drain. I've been having a lot of fun with Choice Specs Whimsicott lately. Honestly, not a lot of people expect it, because when you see Whimsicott, you do kind of think a lot of uh, a lot of status. Lead Seed, potentially Substitute, but uh, overall, this thing hits super hard with the with the Choice Spec. So, he is now going to Toxic me, and that's not really going to save him at this point, because he's going to need a whole bunch of turns uh, for that to be able to whittle me down. But I am Poisoned, and uh, he he, he, he's gonna die to another Giga Drain as um, I, I believe he actually goes for the Protect here. Just trying to stall out some more Poison damage, but it's not gonna be too big of a deal. Um, protection is not gonna save you now, Vaporeon. I'm sorry about that, buddy. You are one of my favorite Evolutions, but uh, I do gotta Giga Drain you, you know, into uh, into Oblivion. So um, he does try to go for one more Protect here, but as you know, it is gonna fail um, like half the time he tried to go for that. So the Protect is not gonna work, not gonna save you there, buddy. And one more Giga Drain is gonna take care of the Vaporeon. So just vaporize that bitch, and that is gonna be the end of the battle there, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. It definitely, it, it really helps me out getting those likes, and uh, you guys have been killing it lately with the like button. I really appreciate it. So yeah, subscribe for some more Wi-Fi battles if you haven't already, and uh, peace out.